Hello everyone, uh, Paul here from the Pin Academy. So in today's video, I'm going to be looking at and talking about market structure. I know I've been speaking about it in the market breakdowns and the rest, but today I want us to just focus on it. So the video is not going to be so long. I just want you to understand it. I did a breakdown on gold. I hope you guys are following it. And uh, if you trade it, I hope you've taken the trade, right? Whether you're doing intraday or you're doing a swing. I just want you to re-break it down in terms of market structure so that you can understand it in depth, right? Now, my market structure, we're actually talking about uh, understanding market movement. Now, in market movement, we only have two types of market movements. Either the price is trending or the price is ranging what we call consolidating. Now, if the price is trending upwards, so if the price is trending, it can be trading upwards or it can be trending downwards. That's why we have the uptrend and the downtrend. That's the first type of market movement. The second type is when the market is ranging or consolidating. Uh, that's when the market is making equal highs and equal lows, right? And that's the situation that we had here when the market, this is the situation we have here on the market. The market is ranging here, making this equal high, equal low, equal high, equal low. Even here, we have this equal high. So we expect the market to remain in this range until it goes out of it. But that is the bigger picture. Now, out of that bigger picture, we have a range here. But inside, when the market is moving up, to make so from up there to make this low, from low here to make this high, from up here to make this low, it, the market is trending. So in this case, why I'm using gold is because uh, in this case, we have both the market scenarios. We have spoken about the two market uh, types of market movement. One, we have said the market should be trending or should, the market should be ranging. And this market scenario is giving us the range in a bigger perspective. And also we have trends in the inside within the, the, the range. That's why I want to use this example, right? Someone may be asking, why didn't you choose another pair? I'm just giving it as an example. And the good thing we're using a live market. And I also did a breakdown on this. So it's not that I crammed something or what, no. I just want to show you when the market is happening because we already have this uh, breakdown, right? So that you understand it better. Now, we know that we already have a range. And I, I said that we wanted the market to come back to this range so that we can push up to down. But when I was doing the analysis, I said I pointed out that we had a level that the price did not test. And which level is that? that the level is this one here, right? You can see when the price was going up, let me just increase it for you so that you can see it properly. When the price was going up from the downer part of the range to start moving upwards, I remember we said we had whether need to trend or we need to consolidate. So the bigger picture we are consolidating until we break out, but in the, within the range we are trending. So we trended up, we made this high, higher low, high, higher low, high, higher low, high. Now if you have to observe in this movement upwards, the only level that we didn't test was this level here. So mean, that's why I said that this is our target, this level here. If you have to check the breakdowns that we did. Right, the, the recent video and also in our on our social media and Telegram, I mentioned this. This is the level that we are targeting, right? But I also mentioned that the, when the market was trending upwards, we are interested in which level. We are actually, we, I said that we are interested. And let me just mark it for you. I said that we are interested in the price giving us. Uh, let me just look here for my horizontal rep. I was in, we're interested in this in price breaking above that. Sorry, breaking below this area this area here, let me just mark two of them, this area here. So I mentioned that I wanted price to come, react here by going back slightly up and then breaking below. I said that the high risk takers or those who, who, who take trades, uh, I want to have maybe multiple entries or do not fear entering trades early. This was your area of interest to start looking for a change of trend to go with it downwards. Then I said those who are safe traders, you wait for the market to break below this area here, and then you can wait for a retest, and then you push. So if you're a safe trader this week, you may not have a trade, right? Or you may trade tomorrow because we're waiting for today's daily candle to close. You can see currently we are still below it, but the day is still long. We can actually close back above. So it's important to wait for the closure of the price. Now, having understood the market movement, so I have to explain something that most of us do not understand. So we know that in an uptrend, the market is making highs and higher lows, highs and higher lows, highs and higher lows. And in a downtrend, the price is making lows and lower highs, lows, lower lows and lower highs, right? This is a downtrend and this is an uptrend. But one thing that we do not understand where most of the strategies come from is what I'm going to explain right now, right? Make sure you be attentive. It will even help you in your entries. Are we together? Now, before I go any further, if you observe, I am actually doing uh, analysis on uh, I'm actually doing analysis on a for, uh, on a fast bull uh, chart. In case you cannot be able to afford other paid platforms, uh, fast bull offers you a free charting tool that you can use to do your analysis. Besides the other things that I told you about, whereby you can uh, you can get analysis, uh, you can get AI signals, 
you can get fundamental analysis, sentimental analysis, right? They have now introduced uh, a charting tool that you can be able to utilize. Personally, I've already told you that I love using uh, this part here, the speculative sentiment, and then also the 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 uh, this part here of the the positions of the market makers. I love that part very much. And also, if you remember, we started our, our we started our series of fundamentals. We shall be speaking a lot about fast bull. So. Make sure you check out fastbull.com. I'm going to leave the description in the, I'm going to leave the link in the description and also I'm going to pin the link. Make sure you check them out. Then also another thing that you can observe is that I've introduced a chatting tool. If I to, if you to click here and you come to, to your right, you will observe that people are chatting. You can actually get ideas from your fellow traders. There is nothing good for a trader like having a community whereby you can share your ideas or you can see other people's ideas. Not depending on them. Don't get me wrong. Don't depend on the ideas of people there, but you can get your, you can compare people's views and check if you have someone who's communicating the same thing. You can clearly observe, right? People are here, real time. People are here chatting. You can type whatever you want to type here. I don't want to type right now, but you can type with people, right? So make sure you use uh, fast bull. It's very good, free of charge. You can see the chat. You can compare it right and it's being offered for free so use it and it will be of very good importance to you so coming back to what i was speaking about now i was saying that if the market makes a high makes a low makes a higher high sorry a higher high and then a higher low this is an uptrend right but one thing that people forget is that when the price is coming to retest here to retest this broken high here it's not a must that price should stop on this high price has liberty to also go to this higher low and most people think that the moment we break this high here, it's automatic that now we have started selling, which is wrong, right? Because price has the liberty to even come up to down here to make equal lows and then continues. Are you getting it? The same applies on the market. The price is on a downtrend. That's why I explained and I said that. Before I go to what I explained, is let me just explain this so that you get it. When we're down to the market can make a low, lower high, low. So this price has the liberty to Instead of coming to retest up to here and then continues, which most people crammed, right? Because it's what you read in a textbook. The price has the liberty to even come and create equal tops here and then it continues. Are we getting it? As long as the market does not take out this level here, the market, the price is still in a downtrend. That's what most people do not get. Are you getting it? Now, this is easy here, but I like showing you guys on the charts. If you have to check all the breakdowns we do, I make sure that I explain to you the market has not broken this level, it has not broken this level, so be attentive. So that's why I wanted to make this video. I don't know if so going to be, so, I, don't, I don't want it to be so long, right? That's why I'm explaining only one aspect. The market structure is a bit, uh, so it has other factors that we shall, I'll be making in other videos, but I need you to first understand this perspective, this exact concept, right? So coming back to the chart here, if you have to observe, the price created this high, Higher low, high, higher low, high. Now, this level here was not tested. Now, people thought that, most people think that the moment it breaks below, they start selling. Now, if you're to observe, you'll be selling at support, right? That's why in the video, I emphasize that this is the previous support level. It was resistance, became support, now support. I wanted to first react a bit, and then we break below. The moment we break below, it's obvious that we are going to be looking now for sale because we are looking for, we have broken the previous support level that was holding price. This support could have easily pushed price higher. I also mentioned it in that video. So I want you to understand that concept very, very well. Are we together? Let me just repeat. When the market is making a high, it's in an uptrend, sorry, making highs and higher lows, right? When it breaks above and it is coming to retest here, it has a liberty to come up to down here. This is where most of the strategies come from. Now, in this case, you're going to be looking for fair value gaps here. You're going to be looking for impulsive moves. You're going to be looking for order blocks down here. Are you, are you observing it? Just under structure and you'll get it, right? Uh, are we together? Every strategy comes from understanding this movement here. Are you together? The same applies for a downtrend. When the market is making lower lows and lower highs, it has the liberty to come up to up here. That's why you see there will be an order block here. There will be a fair value gap. Everything you can observe. That's market structure. Are you getting it? So I just want to make the, this is just like a reminder to make the video very short for you. I hope you've understood it, right? And let's use gold so that you can see exactly the same things I teach are the same things that we implement. So to those who did not take the trade from here, Wait for today's closure, and then on a weekly test tomorrow, we shall be targeting this. This is our target area here. In case the market does not close below here, we be patient. Trading is all about being patient. Are we together? So again, once again, a reminder, make sure you visit fast pool. You can see I'm using their charts, and the chart is very nice. I actually like it. You can also go and check the charts out, though 
make sure you're independent of your decisions. Do not just take, I'm seeing here someone has given a signal. You can check it out. Also, there are AI signals compared to the breakdowns and your rules so that you, the charts are there. Most of the symbols are there that you trade. We have stocks, there are uh, cryptos and the rest, right? If you have indicators, they're there, right? If you want to look for the news that is happening, if you want to check for the news, the signals that, like we've been mentioning, if you want to check for the recommended brokers that you can be able to search out, uh, institutional orders, you want to check for speculative, uh, the sentiments, which are very key if you want to involve yourself in uh, day-to-day uh, -day trading, right? You can check also pending orders of institutions that are all here, if you understand how to use volumes, right? So personally, I love using the speculative sentiments and the rest, right? So make sure you check out Fast Bull and be able to utilize it free of charge. Hope this helps you. Have a great day.